that we can and should act upon to keep this country and this community safe. First, with respect to school safety and gun violence, it should be understood by members of this community, by our partners in law enforcement, and anyone who is interested in our overall safety, that there will be zero tolerance from this office for anyone who takes a firearm onto a school campus or anyone who makes a threat to do the same. It is absolutely unacceptable behavior and something that this office and our law enforcement partners take absolutely seriously. Second, and I think very important, um, we have identified a number of statutory issues with regard to the tools available to us to prosecute threats made against schools and similar institutions. And that is why we have drafted a letter identifying each of those statutory issues that we will be submitting to the legislature and to the governor for their immediate consideration. Simply put, law enforcement needs more and better tools to intercept and act proactively whenever there is a potential threat to any school safety. In addition, we should reaffirm, and I reaffirm today, our commitment to make the reduction of gun violence the top priority of this administration. And in keeping with that goal and that objective, I want to announce that effective immediately, I have instructed prosecutors within this office to seek pretrial detention of any individual who is charged with any felony offense and uses or possesses a firearm. Armed felons are the very definition of someone who does not belong on the streets of this community. And we will ask that they be held throughout the pendency of the criminal process. In addition, in light of the newly allocated resources appropriated by the New Mexico legislature and hopefully signed into law by the governor, we will have additional prosecutors available to us inside this office. As many of you know, we have a working partnership with the United States Attorney's Office and have cross-designated one of our state prosecutors to take federally eligible gun cases into federal court. I am committing today to dedicating at least three additional full-time gun prosecutors to take any federally eligible case that we screen and identify in this system and refer it for potential prosecution in the United States Attorney's Office.